Hey everyone, recently a user asked on our chat channel, my app uses window location replace to redirect to a different host. In my Cypress says this triggers a cross origin security error. So what do we do? So I've written a test here where we visit to index.html and then we assert that it contains something on the first page. This index.html after two seconds redirects us to a different domain. So right now we can see the redirect happening after two seconds. Okay, now if we try to access this page, we'll get an error. Okay, so we get cross origin error because trying to access the new domain from the test doesn't have permission and that's why we get a cross origin error. So what do we do? Well, we can try stubbing the window dot locator location dot replace method just like we can stop window dot open okay let's try it so i will replace for every loaded window its location objects replace method i hope this works we get an error cannot redefine property replace if we open the dev tools right and if we look at window dot location it's an object Right, we were trying to overwrite a method replace right here on this object. If we looked at get on property descriptor window location and we look at the definition of that method, we can see that it's not writable. We can't just override it. We cannot even configure it. That means we cannot define a new property overriding this property. Okay. Most of the methods on Windows location object, so if I look at get on property descriptors, are not writable and not configurable. I think this is done for security purposes so that some malicious script cannot override a bunch of system methods on a window object that our application code uses. Um, can we overwrite not the window location replace, but like the location itself on a window? Let's check. So if we go to a property descriptor for window location, notice not configurable and it has get and set method. So we cannot overwrite even window that location. We cannot even do something like right here, win that window. For example, so something like this is impossible. You cannot overwrite the window property uh, for your uh, application under test. So what can we do? Well, the problem is in our index.html source code, right? We are calling this method. So the solution to me is to maybe do something else. Maybe instead of calling window.location, what if there was intermediate object, something like location? Right now it doesn't exist, but what if? So here's how we will do. First of all, we can remove this. When we load index.html, we're getting an HTML page. Why don't we change it a little bit and replace window location with window.location and we can create this object. Okay, so we're gonna create window.location and it will just have a stop, so no behavior. Now, the second thing we're going to do, right before we load into HTML, we're going to create site intercept saying, whenever the application is asking for index HTML, we will let the request go to the server, and then using rec continue, we'll get access to the response. So we can say the response body, the HTML that we receive from the server, just replace all window location that replace with window underscore underscore location that replace. All right, so let's see if this works. Perfect. Notice that the intercept worked and our stub was called and the page did not redirect. Okay, so you can see that our stub for replace was called once and our intercept for index.html page was called once. In fact, if we look at the network, right, and if we look at the docs, let's rerun this, index.html. This is what the browser receives because the sign intercept operates at a proxy level outside of a browser. So it successfully has rewritten our source code 
to instead of window dot location use window underscore location and we created that object right before every window loads uh one more thing that we might want to do in this test make sure that this intercept actually was called by waiting for it okay we can even put it here and wait or get but stop and add an assertion should have been called i think once and we can even say what we expected to be called with perfect so cypress is very powerful it can rewrite everything it loads in the browser and bypass the restrictions on stopping methods by completely changing how the code runs at the test time.